um, uh, memorabilia, objects, uh, artifacts um, that were displayed to the public. Uh, on the opening day uh, on uh, January 12th, uh, 1937, there were around 400 people in this room. When we look at the commemorative photograph from this event, it's truly amazing and we were trying to match it a couple of times, but we really couldn't, neither with the number of heads in the room, but also the quality of photography. You know, that original photograph, it's 11 by 14 negative. Uh, so it's this an amazing unmatched quality that today's uh, digital sensor uh, cannot simply produce. You know, we, with term of uh, immediacy in technology, it's been so good. But in terms of quality, when I go back to these archival photographs that I digitize, it's just, uh, just astonishing. Uh, so 80 years for the museum, but uh, our library our library is 102 this year. Uh, so two years ago, there has been a large exhibition that's been on display for the entire year, uh, showing the most amazing, the oldest examples of uh, rare books. Uh, our oldest book is from 1508. Uh, it's a medical book. Uh, and they're truly, truly amazing, um, not just books, but also an extensive archive with royal documents of uh, Polish kings, uh, documents of Polish revolutionary war heroes. So we, we have an extensive archive also here, a museum archive that has uh, royal letters, letters uh, uh, written by Polish kings, letters of beautiful seals, you know, on an old uh, parchment paper uh, that is just, you know, unmatched uh, and uh, um, priceless, truly. Uh, we have documents by uh, Polish Revolutionary War heroes, General Kościuszko and General Pulaski, and in regards to them, uh, uh, documents uh, of uh, one Lincoln document, one Thomas Jefferson document. These documents are not on display, of course, uh, all the time because of their fragility, uh, they're priceless. But every so often for a special exhibition, uh, for a special uh, visitor, uh, we, we might open our vaults and, and show these and they are truly special. So I'm very happy that the museum recognizes the value in uh, digitization of the collections in, in putting it online. Uh, and this technology, you know, it might mean something entirely different in a large museum, large institution where they have a huge lab and many computers and scanners. And here it really means uh, one 11 by 17 scanner, one computer and a pair of hands and you go box by box and folder by folder. And as you get requests from researchers, from scholars, from university professors, we make it our priority to digitize first what they need access to. Uh, and uh, we are proud to have over 5,000 photographs online right now uh, and over 25,000 records in general. Uh, but 5,000 scans, uh, you know, images that you can browse through. And uh, they've been uh, utilized many times already in, uh, in very valuable uh, several publications based largely on, on our collections. Uh, and uh, what, I was, what I was able to do with what I've digitized so far uh, is to create a permanent uh, Chicago Polonia exhibit, Polish Past in Chicago, uh, from 1850 until 1939. And then uh, last year we've created a larger traveling exhibition on this subject. So we'll be able to take this uh, outside of the museum also, not just online and not just here, uh, but it will be traveling all over the city, the country, uh, and then we'll be also happy to send it to Poland and to show it in museums and institutions there.